Good morning. It's good to see you all here today. Uh, and I'm just very pleased to be welcoming you to the 2021 graduation ceremonies. So before I start, I'd like to introduce our platform guests that are here with us today. First, Stacy Rowe, who will be our interpreter. Press Askew, who's our State Board for Community College and Occupational Education representative. Dr. Jerry Anderson, who's our Vice President of Academic Affairs. Robert Vroman, who is representing all faculty today as Outstanding Faculty of the Year. Dr. Lisa Fowler, who's the Vice President of Student Services and Success. Cassidy Bliss, who's the Outstanding Graduate of the Year. Admed McCauley, Outstanding Graduate of the Year. And Brian Bryant, who's the Vice President of Administrative Services. Please join me in welcoming them. Well, congratulations, Class of 2021. You are celebrating the 51st year of Red Rocks Community College, and it's a year we will not soon forget. Together, we have met the challenges that this year has brought us. You've done it with courage, with hope, and with a community of faculty and staff and administrators that believe in you and in your future. We don't know when it will end, but it will. There will be a before, and there'll be an after, and we will certainly come to savor the simple pleasures of life. You have persisted through all of this to the end. I hope that not only will you move on to career heights, but there will be more education in your future. You will continue to raise families, serve your communities, create new businesses, fight the fires, save lives, or teach children. And it all began with your choice to walk through the door at Red Rocks Community College. You chose to try, to walk through our doors and begin. You will make this choice again and again as you take each step along your journey. You chose to stay, to engage, and to give it your all. And your best culminates in today's celebration. You are leaving an incredible place of learning. Thank you for the honor of being our students. Thank you for what you've done while you've been at Red Rocks. You all make me extremely proud. Thank you. Now, I would like to introduce Press Askew, who will be giving a welcome from the State Board. It's a real pleasure to have this opportunity to congratulate each of you for your academic accomplishments. I have several thoughts for the next 40 to 60 minutes of this ceremony. However, I've been advised that since this is a virtual event, that you can fast forward through my remarks. So consequently, I've decided to just save you the trouble and just briefly say on behalf of the State Board for Community Colleges and Occupational Education, I grant your president the authority to confer the appropriate degrees and certificates. Congratulations. Hello graduates, family members, friends, and colleagues. I'm Joe Garcia, Chancellor of the Colorado Community College System, and I'm thrilled to extend my most sincere congratulations to this year's graduating class. This year has presented each of you with challenges that have been common to all students over the years, like not enough time, not enough money, or not enough aptitude in math. But you also face the unique challenge in the form of the pandemic that was unprecedented and unforeseeable. Through it all, you showed your resiliency, determination, and strength. You worked hard, you adapted, and you did not give up. That same grit and perseverance will be there as you face future challenges, and I hope you remember how strong you were this year, and that you can find that strength again when you need it. Now, it's been over 40 years since I graduated from college, but I still remember that day vividly. But what I remember, more than a sense of accomplishment and pride, was a sense of relief. Box checked, degree in hand. But I didn't have a job lined up and I hadn't applied to graduate school. I didn't know what was next for me. Still, I was a different person 
because I had that degree. I was a different person because I knew I could face challenges and overcome them. I was a different person because I could imagine a future that was different from my past. All I had to do was keep my eyes open to opportunities and have the confidence in myself to pursue those opportunities even when they seemed impossibly beyond my reach. Certainly, I didn't know everything, but the most important thing I'd learned in college was that what I didn't know, I could learn. Remember that. What you don't know, you can learn. So your next task isn't to know, but to believe. Believe in yourself and have the confidence to try new things, to take risks, and to know that you can persevere just as you did this year. As a recent president said to a group of graduates, quote, it's your turn to keep this daringly radical but unfailingly simple notion of America alive. That no matter where you're born or how much your parents have, no matter what you look like or what you believe in, you can still rise to become whatever you want, still go on to achieve great things, end quote. So pursue great things. Never put limits on your dreams. And don't listen to others who try to impose limits upon you. Don't stop learning because you have a degree, and never stop loving because you may have lost someone close to you. The world is big, and there's always room for more knowledge, more love, bigger dreams, and people like you who can learn more, love more, and aim higher. On behalf of the Colorado Community College System, congratulations again on reaching this momentous milestone. From this day forward, you are a college graduate. You are one of our graduates, and we could not be more proud of you. Now I'd like to mention faculty who are, will be leaving us as well as staff. Quite a number, uh, and we will miss them all. Donna Armelino, who served for 22 years. Linda Como, for six years. Suzanne Egan, for 10 years. Linda Frischette, 21 years. Amy Braziller, 23 years. Patricia Dunn, 23 years. Janine Kreller, 25 years. Cynthia Shields, six years. Randy Landis Exty, 21 years. Laura Licardi, 21 years. Dan Macy, 27 years. Kathy Rock, 24 years. Joan Smith, 30 plus years. Ellen Spear, 30 years. And Rich Thatcher, 25 years. If you add, and Janice Egan, 23 years. So if you add that all up, we're looking at about 350 years of service to this institution. Wow. Again, please join me in thanking them for their service. Each year, we recognize outstanding graduates and faculty members. And presenting the award to the Faculty Member of the Year will be Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dr. Jerry Anderson. Dr. Anderson? This has definitely been the most unusual year that the college has ever experienced in the last 51. And faculty really stepped up to the plate to ensure that each of you received a quality education in this difficult time. When the faculty awards an outstanding faculty member each year, they usually select someone who has done something innovative or given special care to students. This year, when they were considering the outstanding faculty member, they realized that they all had given special things to each student this year. So it's my honor to present the outstanding award for faculty member this year to all Red Rocks Community College faculty. And representing the faculty is Robert Roman. Robert? And the plaque reads, Faculty across Red Rocks Community College inspired their students and colleagues with their perseverance, ability to overcome considerable obstacles, and their applied innovation and creativity to deliver excellence in instruction throughout a pandemic. Congratulations, Robert, for Thank all of the faculty. Thank you very much.
Thank you, Dr. Anderson. <clears throat> Graduates, it's an honor to be able to address you today because you are who this ceremony is about. It is about your accomplishments, your successes, and your ability to overcome the challenges of the last year that we're celebrating today. And what a year it has been. A year of pandemic, a year of increasing social awareness and unrest, a year in which we've had a presidential election unlike any in modern history. Any of these events alone would be history making but you dealt with all three and more, all while continuing your educational pursuits. The, in the face of unprecedented global and domestic events, you found a way to pursue your dreams of education. In March of 2020, we asked you to leave campus for an extended spring break, and no one knew what was coming next. Would the campus be closed for two weeks, a month, until the end of the semester, maybe longer? No one knew. No one anticipated education would change for an entire year and possibly more. Courses were redesigned and you returned from the break to what for many of you was a whole new educational methodology. Words like Zoom, WebEx, asynchronous, synchronous, all became part of your normal vocabulary. You adapted to interacting in the online environment to not only gain knowledge, but to prove that you had gained that knowledge. You found a way to continue your education in ways you never dreamed of. And make no mistake about it, these changes were harder on you, our students, than they were on the faculty. As faculty, we knew the material. We only had to adapt our method of teaching. You had to adapt to those methods of teaching while learning that material. You had to meet the same goals, standards, and outcomes as all those before you in the pre-COVID era. You dug in, you rolled up your sleeves, you said, let's do this, and you found a way, sometimes creating a path for yourself when none was visible. You found a way to do all of this while you were wondering where your next roll of toilet paper would come from, worrying if food would continue to be available at the grocery stores, concerned if your employment would be affected by lockdown orders, and if you were a parent, you had to balance all of this with your children's educational needs and homeschooling, as well as worrying about your own employment. All of this meant putting others' needs and the needs of others first, yet you still persisted. And this, graduates, was the education within the education. As you continue your journey in life, be it work or further education, I hope you realize just how much you've learned beyond the subject matter that was the focus of your degree. You have learned time management. You have learned to be self-sufficient. You've learned to be adaptable, resilient, and creative. You've learned new technologies and new ways of interacting with others and you have learned you can do hard things. You found a way to make life work despite challenges no one could have predicted. There are still questions about what the world will look like in the post-COVID era. Will normal look like it did before? Probably not. Employers are already seeing the potential of remote work as a normal business model. Business travel may become a distant memory as it is replaced by teleconferencing. Work may become more independent even when working in teams. Employers will look for those who can thrive in these types of situations and quickly adapt to the unpredictable. Those who can learn new things and are open to new possibilities that have yet to be thought of or encountered. And you have proven you can do that because you have already done it. You found a way. You are probably the most prepared groups of graduates in all of history due to the fact that you had to do all this while continuing to learn your subject matter. Capitalize on that. Leverage the many skills you have gained over the last year Show potential employers that you have what it takes, and you will find a way to perform your jobs no matter what changes lurk around the corner. You now have a skill set none of us before you ever had, and that is a valuable one. I feel comfortable that I speak for the entire institution when I say you have not just impressed us, you have astounded us with your grit and determination to succeed, and we are all proud of you. Therefore, I'll leave you with this. As you progress through life, it will be hard at times. You will face unexpected challenges. You will face un tough decisions. In those times, remember these three words. Find a way. Use the education you have gained while here at Red Rocks. Use the skills you have learned over the last year. Have confidence in yourself because you have already demonstrated you can. You have the ability to change the world through compassion, empathy, and acceptance. And these, in fact, may be the most important things you have learned in school. Just find a way. In closing, this is one where, where one would typically wish you good luck, but I will not do that. In fact, I've never wished a graduate good luck. 
The reason is luck is defined as success apparently brought on by chance rather than through one's own actions or preparation. Graduates, you do not need luck. You are prepared. You are qualified. You are ready for the world. This is not due to luck or chance. It is due to your hard work and perseverance. Luck has nothing to do with it. Therefore, I will simply wish you the best in your future endeavors and wherever life takes you. I hope you look back on your time in Red Rocks with fond memories. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. And now it's my great honor to introduce Dr. Lisa Fowler, Vice President of Student Services. Good morning. Today I have the honor of telling you a little bit about, excuse me, both of our outstanding graduates for 2021. And I'm gonna start with telling you about Cassidy Bliss. Cassidy Bliss is a rarity in science and engineering, a woman with significant practical experiences in hands-on engineering that she gained before she even came to college. She received a rare opportunity to work with Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey Circus, traveled with them, had very, learned various skills as a brake mechanic, welder, general mechanic. She also served as a safety inspector. She has a very unusual background, but it turns out that as her nominator says, she is the most versatile, knowledgeable, talented, and resilient students that she has ever taught. As project manager and a mechanical design member for the Colorado Space Grant Consortium, Cassidy helped to design and create two experiments and competed in the national competition for NASA. When COVID began, she collaborated with another top student in the University of Colorado Anschutz Medical Center to design, prototype, and test a mechanical splitter and pressure regulator which is used in ventilators. Completed within one month in March 2020, this allowed the hospital, one of Colorado's premier hospitals, to have up to four patients on one ventilator in the summer of 2020. Cassidy's plans are to attend CU Boulder. She will be studying engineering physics, and I hope you will join me in congratulating Cassidy Bliss for being one of our outstanding graduates for 2021. <laughs> Greetings, graduating class of 2021. My name is Cassidy Bliss, and I'm honored to be speaking on behalf of my classmates and peers today. Frederick Nietzsche said, he who has a why to live can bear almost any how. Each of us have overcome extraordinary challenges over the past year. We have had to adapt academically, physically, and emotionally. To get to where we are today, we have had persevered, we have persevered in learning through a pandemic, battles for social justice, and a stressful election. But there is hope around the corner, and I wanna commend all of us for our ability to nurture our passions and our curiosities through education despite circumstance. We move forward together as we have helped one another accomplish this extraordinary feat. Whether we transfer to university, enter the workforce, or have yet to decide our path from here, we share this experience at Red Rocks of growth and transformation. The kindness and support of classmates, colleagues, professors, and mentors alike has been vital in our successes, including being able to graduate this year. I hope the fact that we are here together, graduating and stepping into future ventures, makes you confident in your ability to rise above any challenge that stands in your way. Congratulations. And I have the honor of presenting 
Cassidy Bliss with the Outstanding Graduate of the Year, Red Rocks Community College 2020 to 2020. I now have the honor to tell you a little bit about Amid Makali. Amid is an international student who came to Red Rocks from Saudi Arabia. He came with his wife and three children. One was born here while he's been studying. He completed our ESL program with solid A's. Since completing the ESL program, he has been working toward his associate's degree in industrial technology. With all of the pressures that have gone on, for him and in our country and world, he has maintained a 4.0 GPA. He is untiring, cheerful, helpful, and respectful to everyone in the college community. He helps out every week in the global conversation groups, encouraging fellow international students and resident ESL learners on their journey toward college preparedness. He is always willing to work with new students who need someone to help them adjust. He personifies what it means to be an excellent, all-round, all-around, outstanding graduate. He's working to strengthen his skills and knowledge and participates weekly in the ESL conversation group that is run by International Student Services and Programs. While in this group, he has used his own experience learning how to live in a new country as an international student to mentor new international students. He offers freely of his time and energy. He is always willing to give back to Red Rocks and the community for new and future students. And I'm happy to say that he will be returning to Saudi Arabia and already has a job to return to. So help me in congratulating Ahmad. Thank you, Dr. Lisa. Hello, friends, family, faculty, staff, and most important, graduates of 2021. It is my honor today to address you as an outstanding graduate of the 2021 class. I would like to take this opportunity to dedicate my academic achievement to my father and mother, whose prayers and support have been a reason behind my success and to my soulmate wife has supported me through our life's challenges, as well as to my three awesome kids. Also a special and warm thanks to the person who nominated me as an outstanding student, Linda Yazidani. Pursuing education is never easy. Studies always challenges us as learners and force our minds to grow. It had been 10 years since my college experience in Saudi Arabia. This means that my brain lacked nourishment and discipline for 10 years before I came here to the United States. However, in the summer of 2018, my life turned upside down when I received my nomination for a scholarship. Since then, fear overwhelmed me. I was skeptical of my own abilities did I have the courage to prove myself again? Or should I forego this chance of evolving myself academically? After I made the decision to delve into the new challenge at Red Rocks, the same question kept spinning in my mind. Do I have what it takes? Many of you might have wrestled with the same question, asking yourself when you started your first class here. Can I really do this? We all have faced different challenges in our journeys here. For me, the biggest challenge has been studying in English, which is not my native language. Other of you may have faced various kinds of difficulties. Though, we all have had different people inspire us to succeed in our education and overcome obstacles to it. My first day on campus, I was still doubting myself and my abilities. But on my way to my first class, I saw an old lady in a wheelchair using oxygen. She was tirelessly and relentlessly studying despite her age and health problems. Observing her, 
taught me unforgettable lesson. I have learned no one's age or circumstances mean that they have to give up on their education. Since that moment that came out of nowhere, I felt inspired to press on despite my fears. Each day I came to class motivated and inspired with love of learning that old lady modeled for me. Surely, each of us had our own unique moments of inspiration. We have all had at least one other person cheering us onward. Today, as we gather to celebrate the years of our successful academic journeys, let us remember with love and gratitude that individual who have supported us to make our dreams come true. We know that today does not end life challenges. Barriers still confront us. However, we are all resilient and our education have made us stronger. My fellow grads, as you go forth today, let your dreams and education make the world a better place as they have undoubtedly made you better people. Congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you. And I would like to, pre to present this to you for being our 2020-2021 outstanding graduate. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Will the candidates for certificates and degrees please stand? Dr. Haney, based upon the recommendation of the faculty, I certify that these graduates have fulfilled the requirements for the associate degree or certificate, and I present the graduates to you for the conferring of the degree. Thank you, Dr. Anderson. By the authority vested in me by the state of Colorado and the State Board for Community Colleges and Occupational Education, I hereby confer upon you the degree or certificate for which you are a candidate with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereto appertaining. Now I'm gonna ask Mr. Brian Bryant to introduce her graduates. Hi everyone, I am Brian Bryant. I'm the Vice President of Administrative Services at Red Rocks and I will be reading the graduates' names along with their thank yous. Robin Allen. Viviana Guadalupe Arzola Barrientos. Cassidy Bliss. I'd like to thank Professor DeBrecht. Brina Curry. Thank you to everyone who encouraged and believed in me. James Davenport. Thanks to Addenbrooke Classical Academy, Warren Tech, and Mr. Morton for the opportunity to pursue my educational dreams. Leon Hadone Echeverri. I want to thank RRCC scholarship funds and especially my mom for the love and support on my journey. Ana Carolina Gutierrez. I appreciate my family's support my supervisor's support, and RRCC's dedication to financing my education. Tegan Hackett. Joanna Hardin. Thank you to my amazing parents, brother, and RRCC professors, especially Dean Barchers, Jeremy Beard, and Adam Forland. Michael Hicks. Thank you to my wife, Jennifer, for her support and encouragement throughout my college studies. Samuel Hunley. Thank you to my family and friends, my coworkers, and all of the staff at RRCC for all the support. Jennifer James. Thank you to my husband, Anthony, who has believed in me and helped support me. Thank you for helping me this day become a reality. Also, thank you to my mom 
for always loving and being there for me. Also, thank you to my little boys for having mommy's back. Taylor Johnson. Tessa Cortis. Ahmed Madkali. From the bottom of my heart, I'm grateful to RRCC, represented by International Student Office, for giving me the opportunity as an international student to pursue my education and develop my knowledge. Special thanks to my inspirational person, Linda Yazdani. Heather Radke. A big thank you to my husband and children for being there next to me on this journey. I could not have done this without you. Rachel Slavin. Thank you to my family for supporting me throughout this journey. I couldn't have done it without you. David Smith. Thank you. Dortha Lynn May Sturmer. My family and coworkers where I work, thank you for everything. Alicia Talley. Thank you to everyone who has supported me throughout this journey. I couldn't have done it without you. Shelby Thomas. Patrick Waggle. Kayla Hurley Wetzel. Matt Winters. Congratulations to the graduates. And now I'd like to invite Dr. Jerry Anderson back to the stage. In keeping with the academic tradition, the graduates will now place the tassel to the left of their murder board, signifying the final and official designation of graduation. Please join me in congratulating the class of 2021. Congratulations, graduates from Accessibility Services. You did it, we're so proud of you, yay! Yay. On behalf of Academic Advising to the 2021 Spring Graduating Class, we just want to say one thing to you. Congratulations! Congratulations. Yay. Yay. That's a wrap. Congratulations, graduates. This is Paige Casabona from the Math Department. You should be really proud of all the work you've put in, um, and we're so proud of you to be uh, representing Red Rocks. Um, best of luck in the future, and way to go. <laughs>